Okay, um, long time no see. I'm back. Uh, sorry it took so long. I did this drawing like last year. I forgot what month. And I only got to post this now because school destroyed me and we moved houses. Also, I wanted to have character stills, but I didn't have enough time for that. So I'm posting it like my first speed paint. With that out of the way, on with the video. Hey all, I'm Kez, but I mostly go by Sina. So, unlike the Celine speed paint, this will be in order. Speaking of the Celine speed paint, if you want to watch the process and know about this guy's sister, then go check it out. I promise they both tie together. Okay, in this video's agenda, first, I will be talking about the process of me figuring out his outfit and hair. Second, I will be talking about the speed paint in general. And finally, I will talk about his character and who he is in my series. Without a further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so, this is my first time drawing Helio, so I had to brainstorm on what he should be wearing and his hairstyle. If you're wondering on why the hell his color palette is so bright, that is to contrast his twin sister, Celine. And if I'm gonna be freaking honest, it is not easy to design male clothing. To me at least. Since I'm not at that level of creating unique clothing, I tend to stick to real life references. And I am not joking, it was so hard to come up with a good design for Helios that makes him look like a king. I searched far and wide on the internet for any king desire that resonates with me. However, not so much piqued my interest. And at the end of the day, I only found two that can give me a tiny little push for designs. Since his title is King of the Sun, I wanted to add it to his design, so the first outfit was heavily referenced by this photo right here. The only thing really was the color palette change with a few yellow accents and a sun pin on his chest. I got nothing to say for this outfit other than testing the waters, you know? The hair though, I got a something to say about this. So. I can't really see how his hair would look in my head. The first thing that came to my mind was maybe he can have fluffy hair? But when I did draw the fluffy hair, it didn't hit right. Now that was like a bummer. So with the first design done, let's move on to the next one. So in the second design that was inspired by this photo right here, unlike the first one, this definitely gave me the king vibes and I was very proud of it. Instead of all the white outfit, I decided that only the top would be bright, while the bottom is just, you know, regular black suit pants, dress pants, trousers, I don't know the actual term. I found a lot of terms on Google, not helpful. I also decided to add the sash and make it almost gold color at least as close to the base of gold color as I can get it to add more to the outfit. Gone is the hanging thing on the belt in the first one and instead put a smaller one on the chest area, like the gold chain some men put when wearing suits. The hair. I absolutely have a hard time drawing it. Unlike the fluff, I decided to make it formal. I looked up formal hairstyles and a lot of them I didn't really like since it's all gelled back. I did see one where it was a little loose with bangs falling back, so I went with that. This ended up being the look that I went for. Now for the third one, there's not a lot to say on this one too. This one is more of a test to see if a cape looked good. When I searched up king attires, a lot of them had capes on. I mean, it looked cool, but honestly, I don't see it on Helios. I want him to have an outfit that he can move freely without a cape dragging along. Because of that thought, 
I wanted to see if it would look better than the second design. So I got rid of the sash and placed a side cape that covers his arm. I don't know what it's called, but it's the one Ezio from Assassin's Creed rocks on. I mean, it, it looked nice, but I don't think I would give it to him since Helios moves around a lot. Maybe he wears a cape as a ceremonial thing, like a formal event, like a gala or a ball or something. But that's a topic to talk about soon. We're done with the design talk, now it's on to the speed paint talk and tell you what I thought of while drawing this. I wanted it to be similar to Celine's, a portrait painting of some sort, and if I'm being honest, the final piece may look flat since I haven't drawn in a while when I made this, let alone a full piece in a while. I gotta say, this was really hard to do. Since I haven't drawn in a while, I'm a bit rusty on a few things. One which was the face. I cannot tell you how many times I tried to fix the face. You'll see me in the footage going back, trying to fix it since it looked hella wonky when I flipped the canvas. Every time I try to fix something, it would still look off. First, I thought it was the eyes, so I adjusted the size a bit. When it was still off, I tried redrawing the other eye. It looked like it it looked a little better, but something was still off. Then I noticed the face shape, so I resized the head. Then I tried to fix the jaw multiple times in multiple ways. Redrawing, resizing, mesh transform, free transform. I can't do liquify because during this time, there was no liquefied on Clip Studio Paint. The list goes on and on. Finally, finally, the time of the sketch adjustments were over, and it finally looked decent enough. Then came in the line art. The complaint of the sketch being better than the line art thing was radiating within this piece. The hair didn't quite translate well enough, so I tried a few adjustments. Everything else was okay, but then it was time to ink the sleeve. Man, I thought the face was hard. I tried to fix it, but just gave up and looked up clothing references. I didn't quite find the pose so I can reference the folds. But I did find a small advice that helped me a little bit. Okay, I am done ranting about my struggles. I want to talk about a few things of the drawing. For this one, I wanted him to have one arm bent like that. I don't know why, but that specific pose gave me king vibes, so I went with that. Some neutral face, since this is a royal painting after all. His crown is the same with his sister, except that it's flipped and with the brighter half being higher than the dark half. Since I did want him to be the opposite of Celine, his color palette is white and yellow. I wanted it to look like gold, but I have no experience in coloring gold whatsoever. At this point, I had no idea what to add to this portion, so let's skip to the story. As you know... Helios rules as king alongside his twin sister Selene. During his rule of hundreds of years, he has witnessed a lot of changes within himself, his sister, and his kingdom. Since he is the oldest of the twins, he volunteers to take a lot of responsibilities when it comes to ruling. He takes on the political affairs with a few other kingdoms and cities within or out of their realm. He takes charge of any affairs in the kingdom like inspections, research, and just overall helping the staff with any problems. Helio also helps training the guardians and pillars in combats or with their powers. His majesty actually wields a sword and a spear in battle. He frequently changes between the two, depending on which weapon will fit which fight. It's most likely to see him in the front lines fighting alongside the soldiers, unlike his sister, who mostly stays back in the kingdom, protecting the citizens within. His majesty may seem strict, but in reality, he's just a war- 
His Majesty may seem strict, but in reality, he's as warm as the rays of the sun. His powers are strongest in the day, where the sun thrives in all its glory. Hence, his title as King of the Sun. Well, there you have it. We have completed the twins. Despite my visible struggle with this piece, I'm happy that I finally got to draw him. I do plan to draw all of my OCs, because a lot of them I've neglected, so I'm trying to change that. They may not be in order of any seer readers or importance, because I have like three main stories that I want to tell, and I love all my children individually. So, until the next speed paint, or any other video I make, uh, be sure to like and subscribe, comment any of your critiques or what kind of drawing you want me to see. If you want to support me, consider uh, going to my Ko-fi or following me in my social medias. Uh, mostly Instagram because that's where I post all my artwork and progress is at. So yeah, I uh, hope you liked the video. I'll see you on the next one. See you all on the flip side and bye bye